Glenn Hatt, product manager here at Winchester Repeating Arms at the 2019 SHOT Show in Las Vegas. And right here I have the custom grade Model 94 125th anniversary. This beautiful, elegant rifle um, is built on a platform that's been around for 125 years, the Model 94. Uh, the greatest deer rifle ever created. Uh, this comes with a full octagon barrel, hand engraved and embellished by Giovanelli in Italy. Um, we're very proud to be partnering with them on this commemorative. Uh, we also have a high grade version that has some roll engraving with some hand retouch afterwards. Uh, beautiful, elegant rifles, the Model 94, 125 years. Check these beautiful, elegant rifles out. Go to winchesterguns.com. I introduce to you Henry's brand new rifle lineup, the Rex Gun. In 2018 at the NRA convention, Henry put out the idea of the X Gun. It was a concept gun. And if you recall, Dan and I made a video wanting to hear you guys' feedback on the X Gun concept. This is different. This is way different from Henry Repeating Arms. In 2018, they already knew that the side loading gate was going to hit the market the following year. So they did not want to put out the concept gun without the side loading gate. Now that Henry Repeating Arms introduced the side loading gate, the X Gun has been born. Henry has never put a synthetic stock on any of their center fire rifles. This is the first. Now, the reason why they went with a synthetic stock instead of a stained wood stock like we had in the concept gun is because synthetic stocks, they're a little bit lighter, but not only that, they will hold up to the harshest of elements. The synthetic stock has a pick rail right on the bottom of the forearm of the stock. It also has two M-lock slots on the left and right hand side. This will give you two extra spots to put a flashlight or laser. On the rear of the rifle is a rubber butt pad. This particular firearm is chambered in 4570 and let me tell you, you will want that rubber butt pad there. The receiver is drilled and tapped for a rail if you want to put a red dot or an optic of your choice. The X-Gun has fiber octave sights both on the front and rear of the rifle. This will allow for quick target acquisition. In reading the comments on the X-Gun concept two years ago, everyone wanted a threaded option. All the X-Guns are threaded. The synthetic stock also has a built-in sling mount both on the forearm and also on the butt of the rifle. Since last year when the side loading gates were introduced, you guys have been wanting the big boy calibers. The X-Gun is not only available in the 4570, which you see here, it's also available in 410, 38, 357, 44 mag, and also 45 Colt. Henry is very pleased on how their X-Gun has turned out, and they know you will be also. Now there's gonna be more on the X-Gun here on Henry TV, so don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions on the X-Gun, you can put them in the comments below. Go over to the Facebook page, Twitter page, or Instagram pages of Henry Repeating Arms and ask those questions there. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not gonna be made in America. And in my hands is the all-weather 4570. Now, currently in 2016, Henry is making two firearms in the all-weather, one chambered in the 4570, which is in front of me, and another chambered in the 3030. Today we're going to be focusing on the 4570. The 4570 round has been around for a long, long time. A lot of people enjoy the 4570 because of its versatility. Now you can load light cowboy action loads in it, you can load some uh, black powder loads. You can also load loads that are pretty hot that you can use to take pretty much any big game animal in North America. I myself love the 4570. Here recently, this past spring, I was able to take my first big game animal with the 4570 cartridge. The barrel on this rifle is 18.43 inches long. It does have a brass bead front sight and it is equipped with the buckhorn sight on the rear. This rifle is sporting the hard chrome finish. This is what sets this rifle apart. This will allow you to take this rifle out hunting or as a truck gun. And the old saying, you know, you can ride them hard and put them away wet. This is what they meant by this rifle. Henry did not shy away from having wood furniture on their rifles. This rifle, it does have wood furniture on it, but it has a special coating to help keep out the elements. The magazine, holds four rounds. And this is my favorite part of the video. 
Now these particular rounds that I'm using are 300 grain hollow points. It does hold four rounds. And I've got some three liter soda bottles down here that I need to take care of. All right, eyes and ears are on. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's get the one on top of the target right there. Wham! All right, let's get this guy right here pretty close. It just obliviates it. All right, that one on the ground, it's not going to get away from us. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Never, ever gets old. All right. My glasses are fogging up pretty bad here. Let me reload it. So now that I've destroyed all the three liters on my range, let's do a little bit of an accuracy test with it. Let's go across the creek. Now these are six inch targets at 50 yards. Put my glasses back on. All right. Well, I just killed my target. <laughs> All right, let's go to the other one right there to the right. Nailed it. All right, let's go with the bowling pin right up here close. Boom. All right. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Henry TV. If you have any other questions about this particular rifle, make sure you go over to the Henry's Facebook page and ask them there or put them in the comments below. And like always, if it's not made in the USA, it's not going to be made at all. family welcome back to yet another episode of hunt with a henry i'm out here on my brand new range behind my house i built a little rim fire and pistol cartridge range back here behind my house i just got it started and i haven't even got to use it yet I've got a few targets down range here and i uh, really wanted to get out here and shoot today it's absolutely beautiful wanted to let you guys know we're actually into season four now of hunt with a henry i can't believe we've been through three seasons together um, it's been a joy to to do this hunt with a henry series with you guys the henry family and i can't wait to uh, see what this year is going to bring season four is going to be a special one for us here at henry it's our 25th anniversary Anniversary. Our owner, Anthony Imperato, started this company back in 1997, and uh, it's an absolute blessing to be a part of the Henry family and to be able to do this. So, I wanted to get out here. It's a beautiful day today, uh, about 60 degrees, and uh, sunshine, the winds died down. We've had a lot of wind here recently, and it has not been very nice, it's been kind of cold. We actually had snow a couple days ago. Uh, we needed the moisture though, so that's good. But uh, I wanted to get out here and and talk about this little rifle here. It's become one of my favorite rifles um, over the past uh, few months here. This is the Steel Big Boy uh, Carbine in 44 Magnum. Uh, carbine it means it's just shorter. Uh, we make one with a longer barrel as well. That is the rifle version. This one's got a shorter barrel, bigger loop. It's small, lightweight, easy to move around. It's going to be a great uh, tree stand rifle, maybe ground blind rifle, uh, something to carry long distances, short range in the timber. It's gonna be a great 100 yard and in deer rifle, hog rifle, pretty much anything. It's drilled and tapped, so you can put an optic on it if you want. I've just got the semi buckhorn sights on it here. Just kind of kept this one natural. It's a beautiful, beautiful gun. Got the walnut stock on it as always. So, I've got some brand new targets down here from Shoot Steel. I've got this thing. Uh, loaded up with some federal premium ammunition. Let's start shooting.
All right, guys. Just dump the magazine on that thing. It's a great shooting little gun. Like I said, it's, uh, it's very small, lightweight. You guys can see here. It's a beautiful little rifle, easy to maneuver, gonna be great in the timber for hunting, uh, great for shooting on the range just like this, uh, very accurate. I can't wait to you know strap this thing on my back, maybe do some spotting and stalking. I'd love to take this thing to Texas, maybe sneak up on some javelinas, uh, hogs, things like that. Uh, like I said, you could put an optic on it if you wanted, maybe a little red dot or a, a low power scope uh, of some kind. Let's load this thing up again and shoot it a few more times. Specifically, the split two magazine that could pick up dirt and the lack of a forend to protect the shooter's hand when the barrel got hot. Oliver Winchester, a chief investor in the old Volcanic Arms Company, took control of the company in 1866 and renamed it the Winchester Repeating Arms Company. That same year, he introduced a new rifle called the Model 1866, better known as the Yellow Boy after its solid brass receiver. Winchester's plant superintendent, Nelson King, had devised a convenient loading gate through the side of the receiver, which not only made the new rifle more functional, but also allowed for the installation of a wooden forend. The new 1866 Yellow Boy was a big hit worldwide. Chief Sitting Bull had an 1866 when he led his Sioux band to Canada after the fight at the Little Bighorn. Benito Juarez's forces used Yellow Boys in Mexico and the Turkish army used a military version of the new Winchester against the Russians. The carbine version of the 1866 Yellow Boy was the first trifle carried in a cowboy-style saddle scabbard. Huberti USA has recreated three of the most popular models of 1866 Yellow Boy, the Yellow Boy carbine with a 19-inch barrel, banded forend, and carbine-style brass butt plate. The Yellow Boy rifle with a 24-and-a-half-inch barrel, and short rifle with 19 inch barrel. With an 1866 Yellow Boy, you can own a piece of American history.